Hi, my name is Shannon Luluk and I am a proteomics application specialist at Thermo Fisher Scientific. And today I'm going to discuss with you the identification and characterization of intact proteins in a complex mixture on the new Orbitrab Elite using online fragmentation. Why are people interested in looking at intact proteins? There are many things that intact protein analysis can tell you that you can't get from regular bottom-up analyses, such as protease cleavage sites, often post-translational modifications aren't detected, or combinations of modifications can't be discerned. As well, sequence polymorphism. So these are the three main reasons why people are looking at intact proteins. Today I'm going to discuss the analysis of intact proteins on the Orbitrap Elite hybrid mass spectrometer. This is our new mass spectrometer that boasts a top-end resolution of 240,000. As well, it has a faster scan speed. And so at 60,000 resolution, what previously was detected in approximately a second on the Orbitrap Velos, we can now acquire almost four spectra in that time at the same resolution. As well, it has a robust and sensitive uh, generation two ion optics and a new preamplifier for improved signal to noise. So these are the three main benefits that are going to really help us in our intact protein analyses. The methods that we use, we're using a typical workflow for top-down proteomics developed in Neil Kelleher's lab. We started with a yeast cell lysate, reduced and denatured the protein, and then separated it using the gel-free intact protein fractionation system. This separates the proteins according to molecular weight, which can really help us in our analyses with developing methods that are specific to molecular weight ranges. The samples were cleaned up and the SDS was removed prior to analysis on an online nano LC tandem mass spectrometry experiment for the Orbitrap Elite with ETD, HCD, and CID fragmentation. This data was analyzed in a high throughput fashion using ProSite PC 2.0. When it comes to modifications, the system has the high resolution and the fast scan speed necessary to do such in a single scan. And so we have the precursor scan at 100,000 resolution that is acquired at approximately a quarter of a second, and then the MSMS spectra that were acquired at 60,000 resolution. We were able to localize a site of phosphorylation as well as a site of oxidation. When looking at smaller proteins, we can get nearly complete fragmentation of, of the protein, and this is using a combination of fragmentations using ETD, CID, and HCD. So this is an example of ubiquitin. Although it's often used as a standard protein, this ubiquitin was found in our yeast samples and we isolated the 13 charge state. And this spectrum is a little more complex than the spectrum before. There are multiple proteins eluding at the same time. And here, looking at the ETD, CID, and HCD, you can really see complete fragment ion coverage for this protein. And it really shows the benefit of the combination of the multiple fragmentation techniques in order to improve your sequence coverage. There's something else I would like to mention uh, regarding the ETD fragmentation. Here we did 20 millisecond reaction time as well as 5 millisecond reaction time. And if you can notice uh, the difference between the red and the orange fragment ions. So sometimes the orange ones, which correspond to the ETD 20 millisecond, are together, and other times only one of these ETD fragmentations identify them. And so this is a setting that you can play with to improve the sequence coverage if you're targeting a known protein and you really want to get great sequence coverage. Another thing that can be done if you are doing more of a targeted analysis rather than looking at complex samples is to uh, improve the number of microscans. So all of the data I'm showing here are from a single scan with eight microscans at the MS level and 10 microscans at the MSMS level. If I was targeting a specific protein that I wanted the best data from, I would increase that number of microscans to the maximum that we can. And again, on the Orbitrap Elite versus uh, previous generation instruments, we're doing about four times faster. And so uh, we can really increase the number of microscans capable. When looking at larger proteins, uh, up to 30 kilodaltons, and I have shown here two examples of 27 kilodalton proteins, we can get baseline resolution of the MS spectra in a single scan, as well as single scan fragmentation data that allow us to confidently identify this protein. In conclusion, the Orbitrap Elite is our top-of-the-line mass spectrometer that allows confident identification of intact proteins in complex mixtures on an LC timescale due to its high-resolution capabilities with its fast scanning and the multiple fragmentation modes. Thanks for watching, and for more information on the Orbitrap Elite and to download this poster, please go to planetorbitrap.com.